las salteñas la mejor. The best in Salta. Yum yum. So it is our last day in Salta and we couldn't leave the city without having empanadas. We did a little bit of research on Google and we found a place called La Criolita. Apparently they have the best empanadas in the whole city, so that's what we're going to be ordering today. Okay, so the specialty here are called empanadas salteñas yes. and those are made with chopped beef, but what are we having? But we also saw two others that caught our eye. Mm -hmm. The ones with pollo, which is chicken, yes. and the other ones with queso, which is cheese. So, so we'll we're be having try three. three, a little bit of everything. We even ordered a tamale too, right? Yes, yum yum. And just as we're getting ready to vlog our meal, the power goes out. Goes out in the restaurant. <laughs> so this is gonna be low quality filming. Not sure what we're gonna do. Maybe we'll wait for the power to come on, or maybe we'll just film it gorilla style. Fingers crossed. Okay, so we can still kind of see in the dark. So here are the three empanadas. They have arrived. And this one is made with beef. This is a traditional one, empanada salteña. This one's made with cheese. And this round one over here is made with chicken. So we'll be sampling those in the dark. In the dark. In the dark, all spooky and scary. In the dark. So this one here is the empanada salteña. This is the beef one. Um, and this is going to be a proper taste test because I can't really see that well in here. So uh, I have to figure out what the ingredients are. Yeah. Just for our viewers to understand, we have the exposure compensation lightened by two degrees. So mm -hmm. it is a lot lighter on the screen that you're seeing than it actually is for us trying this. Mm -hmm. I got the spicy one. It does have a bit of a kick. Okay. So what kind of sets this one apart from other beef empanadas is that the beef is chopped. So you get like these bigger chunks of meat. It's not ground beef like in the other ones. Um, and this also has potatoes and spring onions in it. Ooh la la! Ooh la la! Oh, so hot! Is it tasty? Is it tasty? Potato and egg. Really tasty. But this is like fresh out of the oven. Piping hot. Piping hot. Mm -hmm. Wanna try some? Yes, I do. Okay, so Sam is adding some spice to this already spicy yeah, empanada. Apparently, it wasn't spicy enough. Just kidding. <laughs> How is that? Well, that is really, really good. Yeah. I think what sets this empanada apart is just, well, number one, if you look here, you can see just how stuffed it is. Yeah, we like, can kind of see it. Oh, okay, well, I'll explain. <laughs> We'll trust you, we'll take your word for it. <laughs> so stuffed with ingredients and the quality of meat is really high. And you're right, it is spicy, like I'm feeling it burn. Even mm. though I, I had so, a bite about 10 seconds ago. It gets the thumbs up. Big thumbs up. Okay, so next up we have the cheese one. Mm. Con queso, right? Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's like a mozzarella cheese. Ooh. Is it a generous amount of cheese? Mm-hmm. We can't really see the strings forming, but it's super cheesy in there. Yeah. Mm, I wish you could capture this. Look, I've got cheese oozing oh, out. Mm. Out of focus. That's okay. Tasty. <laughs> I'm used to having empanadas with ham and cheese. I've never had one that's just strictly cheese before, but it's a nice little snack. Hmm? And last but not least, we have the chicken. And this one's in a different shape. It's more like- It's round, it's, it's like a little pie. Yeah, it's like a little pie. A chicken pie. Chicken pot pie. Mm. Wow. Thoughts? I can see why this place is considered the, one of the best, if not the best in town. Mm -hmm. Like they have thick, chunks of meat in their empanadas. Ooh. So my first bite into the side, which typically wouldn't, you wouldn't think would have a lot of ingredients, included a really big tender piece of chicken, which is awesome. I think we're gonna be ordering more of these before we go home. So one of the things that really surprised me about the empanadas here in Salta is that they're quite small. They're almost like a little snack or a little appetizer that you'd have before the meal. But the ones that we generally make at home, and I'm guessing we use an Argentinian recipe in my house, are usually a little bigger and they're quite plump and they're not as big as the ones we had in Chile. Those were like massive <laughs> pies that looked 
with like envelopes. But yeah, these are these are like little treats. I feel like I need to eat five or six of these to actually get full. It's like they should have an eaters added to the end. Eaters, empanaditas. That means they're little. <laughs> All right, so this isn't quite the meal we were expecting to have us sitting here in the dark in the back of a restaurant. But let's do price point because we are done with our food. Yes. So, so, so the good thing, if you do come here, these are not expensive at all. They're roughly mm -hmm. one US dollar, 12 yeah. to 13 pesos. And I highly re recommend coming with a friend and ordering a whole bunch. Yes, you need at least five, at least five per person. At least five, I would maybe more like 10 for me. You're yeah. Hungry giant, like yeah, because we got three and a tamal, and we're still kind of hungry. We're gonna order more. Let's go for dessert. 